people how's your mama doing well I guess I've had to do this video no well I was gonna do this video about the America's Nick America's got fake uh, well I mean talent well everybody heard about this Tim Poe guy that lied about being in a well he was in the army he served only for a, a month but uh, he lied about the injury that he's got in the studding problem and the photo that he posted was not his it was another sh soldier and he's been going on a TV show he's through and I, like dude just quit bullshit see now ladies and gentlemen I'm I'll, I'll tell you this I did actually a video on my Cillo Jr. 2 uh, channel on YouTube and uh, I talked about reality shows being fake I said they're not real they're fake they're always going to be fake no matter what them dating shows any shows they come up with they're fake in which basically they are every reality show that comes out there is fake America's Got Talent uh America, uh, what's the other one with the American Idol, so on and so forth. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all this: that this guy wanna like for real though. This is where you need to pay attention to. It. Need to pay attention about this shit because I really don't, I really don't understand those. Is how people, how people can get sucked into the bullshit. The bullshit of this uh, of, of this scam. Oh, we love American Idol. Oh, we love America's Got Talent. Oh, we love them. We love them so much. Oh, Lord Jesus, I want to have sex with these guys. Who I want to fuck these girls. But you don't know nothing about these people. There was a guy that was on there. Uh, what was American uh, guy? Uh, American Idol. Called him the Gentle Giant. Find out that motherfucker's got a arrest record. Got a arrest record. And y'all, I'm telling y'all. Now, like on the, like I, I want, I, like I said something about the uh, the show, the reality shows one day. And this before VH1 came out with uh, Megan Wants a Millionaire. And I said, I'm just waiting for somebody to kill I'm just waiting for somebody to fuck up and get kill somebody and then go on the show and then kill all, everybody in that whole damn house some shit like it don't you know after I did that like a few months or something like that later that sh this is before Megan Wants a Millionaire came on this is back when Rock of Love was fucking around and all this shit in charm school don't you know everybody heard about that whole Guy kills his ex-wife, stuffs in the suitcase, put her in the dumpster. The dude ends up killing himself. They cancel the fucking show because of this. And y'all get so wrapped up in these reality shows, not really knowing who are who's going on these shows. There was murderers, rapists, pedophiles, scam artists, hackers, so on, so fun and so for people that. Does all this shit and y'all still continue to watch? Oh, we love to hear them to sing. I will, you know what? One of these damn days, one of these days on these damn reality sh uh, reality show scene contest bullshit, that there's gonna be a fucker that is so bad, that is so terrible, it's gonna do the worst thing that this country's ever seen. And go on these, sh go on one of these shows, and do something so horrible that they cancel every singing contest reality show there is. Because one thing is, these damn shows are rigged anyway, rigged. And y'all fuckers still watch your votes don't mean or call in to vote on your favorite. No, don't vote saying shit. It's just some number you call and they'll just see how many fuckers can call in. That's all that is to it. But I'm saying I guess though this dude went to the far went too far with this whole bullshit about him being a being a so well I can I well he was a soldier but he got kicked out like he left after a month. 
he lied about getting hurt. He lied about, and the picture he posted up wasn't even his. It was another soldier. Now, why would you do that shit, man? But like I said, I just watched a little bit of 2020. And they and they was like behind the scenes, a little bit of behind the scenes reality shows that these people's got a lie just to get a good image. And then I sit there and I thought I so you made this man lie. Like I'm for real going ABC 2020. They had the little show called Big Liars. And you go all the way to like if they show the the scenes, the, uh, the little thing, the little segment segments of when about when they talking about this story they'll say that they actually had people lie or tell stories about all oh, their this or that just to make them look good but it but it's like it's it's wrong for this guy to sit up on here and go on national TV posing as somebody that is not how fucking stupid are you I'm not gonna go on American uh, on American Idol and say um I was in the army and I, and I blew up and I got strapped in my chest I ain't gonna do that or going there with the can oh my name is Joe I was a police officer I got shot in the leg and I had to ret- now I'm on disability. No, no, I ain't gonna do all that, man. That's stupid. Posing as somebody else just to make yourself look good. And and, and people are dumb enough to give in to that shit. People are dumb enough to give in that shit. These fucking networks that give to start these shows. And these producers sitting up there telling, oh, you're not this person. You make $3,000 a month. And you're a car salesman or businessman. Go out there and say, tell them what they are. So they already gave you a life. So they already got you lying about who the fuck you really are. Same as when you watch America's Got Talents. Same as when you watch uh, uh, America, uh, American Idol. Same as when you watch... Uh, voice or the duels saying they make you live uh tell a lie oh but we love you shows we love you shows. i love you like like you want to like i know you love these shows but you gotta look at it people that they've been making these people fucking lie next day like i said there's gonna gonna be a person that's gonna go on one of these shows that do something so fucked up that they end up canceling every fucking reality show there is because they don't want to live through the bullshit again. It's gotten to that point. Do you really want to sit there and watch somebody get killed on national TV? If I want to watch that shit, I go to the best gore shit. At least on. And, and this is like I don't see why I don't see why the FCC ain't stepped in and said nothing or did nothing since they trying to protect kids from views and shit motherfucker FCC if you gonna sit there and censor certain shit why ain't y'all did anything about this shit uh, this shit right here on America's Got Talent too that shit that was on VH1 about the guy killed at his ex-wife stuff in it you know the guy on the reality show why ain't y'all ever step in why don't you ever step in be like look man we're gonna shut this shit down I said yeah I don't uh, we're gonna shut it down for like a few months or a year then we'll allow y'all to start this back up when everything is over with why not step in and do that why? Because y'all have the power to say, oh, look, you're fine, pull the plug on it, whatever. Because the FCC, if the FCC can sit there and be on MTV's back about skins, that show they had called Skins, why can't you step in and do something about these damn reality show contests? Why don't you just step in and say, like, look, man, just, uh, we're going we're gonna to tell y'all to Stop with the reality shows for a good year. 
and after that good year is up, y'all can restart again. Because one thing is, because one thing is, it's, it's gonna give them a break, um, give them a break, and really, really, actually get a lot of help on doing research on the people they bring on to these shows. Because, like I said, you don't know who's coming to a show, who's gonna apply for the show, who's gonna come on it, or whatever. It could be a killer, drug dealer. Uh, rapist, pedophile, who knows if this one man can, can actually wiggle his way into a damn contest and lie about him being in the army for 14 years and had a bomb jump, uh, a bomb grenade, a grenade going off on his ass like come on if this fucker can sneak on and tell a fucking lie then who else if a murderer and a fucking guy that lied about who he is can sneak onto a show then what's next what's next are you gonna find like I don't, it's gonna get to a point where somebody gonna get killed on one of these damn shows and fuck are still gonna watch and these damn shows these damn networks still gonna do these shows even though somebody got killed hurt or in to a point where that the that people are slapping lawsuits on these damn networks Ain't nobody ever thought about putting an end to this shit. Ain't nobody thought about, well, I think this we should do the right thing and just end it for, for a while and restart back up when we get the proper material, the proper help, the proper whatever, having our shit together and getting done. But I just don't get it. It's a cigarette, but but these shows are so so much in a fucking hurry, and they bum rush through this shit. They really don't do back background checks. If a job can sit there and do background checks on common folks, then these shows need to start doing background good background checks on these people before they allow them to be on the show. Because. You don't know who you let know. You don't know who you let know. It, it can be anybody. When they f sit there in the bum rush fucking hurry, you're allowing these people to get on there and to fuck it, and to do whatever they want and then let them get away with it because you signed a fucking contract with them. And that's the bad thing about it. That is the worst thing about it. And now I'm gonna put the story in the description box so y'all can read the story. And it's funny, he's defending his military records on appearing on America's Got Talent to a 14 year military. How I'm in day of emotional reality TV history. Well, and what led to his stutter, he's been hit with a grenade in Afghanistan resulting in a broken back, a brain injury, and he claims. Meanwhile, photos he submitted from the tour of duty appear on screen showing the 35-year-old father of two with a gun that was the other person. Now, I'm like I said, this guy went on TV, lied his ass off, and now his ass is in hot water. And his ass is in hot water. Like for real people, y'all just can't be. Oh, but we I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to really do something on the bachelor. I'm waiting for a damn fucker to just beat the shit. bachelor or the bachelorette. I'm waiting for some fucker to go do something stupid on this show. It, it, I'm waiting for it to pop off like that, man. Just waiting for the. I'ma sit once it do. Once once that happen, somebody pop off on the Bachelor, or the Bachelorette, or America's Got Talent, or uh, American Idol, or something like it. The first thing I'ma do is say fuck y'all. I told you so. What a bunch of dumbass people. That's the first thing I'm gonna say to y'all. That y'all some dumb fuck that was kissing ass or sucking up just to get on the show how many times 
how many bitches will sit there and give Howard Stern some head or Randy Jackson some ass or Steven Tyler some ass just to get on the show. You seen what happened to Paula Abdul? She fucked one of the contestants and got caught up. This is what I'm talking about. Y'all got to pay attention. These networks need to pay attention to who the fuck they letting on their shows. And, the, and, and for one thing is, these fuckers didn't learn a lesson from VH1, really. They didn't. Because you ain't seen another... <laughs> you ain't seen another... Uh, Flavor of Love or Rock of Love, Daisy of Love, I Love New York, Charm School, any shit like that since that incident. Have you? No. I haven't. Y'all haven't. Because VH1 learned their, MTV slash VH1 learned their lessons from having them shows. And that's how it is. Like I said, man, these these shows need to do more. Need to watch who they let on their shows because it can be one of the producers, family member. It can be a killer, a rapist, murder, pedophile, whatever. And something can go wrong, and fuckers were just like, "Oh, we didn't know." Motherfuckers call background checks for a reason call background checks for a reason see what happened they should like when he did there went on stage and saw him and y'all they should have went back did a background check and see if his story was true if his story was true they would let him left, let him be on the show if his story was a lie call the popos whatever get his ass escort off the show whatever but they didn't do that. It was too damn dumb. Too much of a fucking hurry. Too much of a fucking hurry. And now y'all dumbasses sitting out there like, Oh, we didn't know. Oh, he, oh, we really thought he was, he had a stunting problem that really happened. It's called reality TV, dumbass. For a fucking reason. They live in lies. What you see on these reality shows is nothing but bullshit lies. None of it is true. Like they gonna really say, Oh, I'm really, I was in the Iraq war, lost my leg. There's people that can, these shows are written to be lies, man. They'll write a sob ass story, hire actors just to make you think that these people's got issues. I hope y'all take a lesson of this and realize they actually write these stories that these people have. I'm not shitting you. If all the, if all these networks are telling you, oh, we really write the stories, we actually write these people's stories, their lives and all this, and y'all dumb enough not to listen to it but believe it, oh, oh, poor baby, the, oh, his wife got killed, and then but it's been told that oh he doesn't have a wife he's never been married and y'all were either believe the bullshit lies than the truth <laughs> something's definitely wrong with you something is definitely wrong with you because I'd rather believe in the truth than that bullshit wrote written story that they gave these people but that's a damn shame that this dude did something so stupid just to be make himself look so good. Making himself look so good on national TV. I, 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 I motherfucker, I know people that stu- I, 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 <sighs> You know, they're faking it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe. Follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wooks. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. If you got something to say, you like what I got to say, leave it in the comment or via response, reply, video, whatever. If you don't, kiss my ass. And ladies and gentlemen, 
It's fake. None of it's real. Stop believing in the hype. Pull your... Stop sucking on the sack. The sack of bullshit. And that's how it is. Peace, love, and Afro-grease, motherfuckers.